Welcome to ABC Interactive English. This is Karen. Today we're looking at part two of Trends and Fads, and it's called Taiwan, a great place to ride a bike. Now I'm sure all of you guys remember that in part one of our Trends and Fads. Iris and Thomas, they were talking about great places you can go when you want to ride a bike. They were talking about places like Danshui, right? Have you guys been there before? Have you guys ridden the bicycle there? I really love riding bicycle near the Danshui area or maybe the Bitan area. There are a lot of great cycling paths all around the island. So let's go into today's lesson. Ding ding! Iris and Thomas are on the bike path. There are a lot of riders on this path today, and many of them are on U bikes. Well, there are many places to rent them. And they aren't far from the bike paths. Taipei and Taiwan really did a good job with these bike paths. Yeah, now more people ride bikes for fun and exercise. Welcome to part two of Trends and Fads, everyone. And today it's called Taiwan, a great place to ride a bike, and it's definitely right. I love riding bicycles in Taiwan. Just like I said before, we got a lot of beautiful scenery. You can ride the bike and enjoy the beautiful view. Okay, so in today's dialogue, we have two people talking, and we got. Iris and Thomas. Okay, so Iris and Thomas are on the bike path. They are on the bike path. Do you guys know what the bike path is? It's like the road that's designed for bicycles only. So cars and scooters cannot drive on this path, which makes it very safe. So if you ever want to ride a bicycle, make sure that you ride on the Bike path, okay? So it will be safe. You're not gonna be with the scooters and the buses and the cars, okay? So in today's dialogue, Iris says there are a lot of riders on this path today, and many of them are on U bikes. Hmm. Rider is our first vocabulary word. Iris says there are a lot of riders. On this path today, what she's saying is that there are a lot of people riding bicycle. So there are a lot of riders on this path today. Okay, so the people riding the bicycles, you can call them riders. Okay, and many of them are on U bikes, and which is why I really love Taiwan because I love U bikes. U bikes are very very convenient. You can. Rent. You can borrow the car here and return it elsewhere. Okay, and you can see different locations of U bikes. It makes it super convenient to ride bicycle. Okay, let's go back to the dialogue. Thomas says, "Well, there are many places to rent them, and they aren't far from the bike paths." So he says, "Huh? There are many places to rent them," and he's right. There are definitely many, many locations, many, many places where you can rent them. Rent means you are borrowing something, using something, but you need to return it later. But you got to pay a little bit of money. So, for example, renting U bike, you also need to pay a little bit of money. That's also called rent. So you can also. Rent a scooter. If you don't have a scooter, but you just want to ride it for one day, you can also rent a scooter or rent a car as well. Okay. And the next vocabulary word is far. Far. So Thomas says, "Hmm, they aren't 
far from the bike paths. They aren't far from the bike paths. That means they're pretty close. You don't have to travel a long distance. Okay, so far means quite a long distance from here to here. Maybe it takes a long time. But Thomas says, no, no, no. They aren't far. That means they're not far. They're probably pretty close. From the bike path, okay. Just like if you want to say, my house is far away from the school. That means you have to travel really, really far to go to school. Okay, so far means traveling a long distance. Okay, let's go back to today's dialogue. Iris says, Taipei and Taiwan really did a good job with these bike paths, and I definitely have to agree with Iris. We have a lot of safe bike paths in Taiwan, and I always see a lot of riders riding on the bike paths. Right? It's very safe and very easy to find as well. And then Thomas says, "Yeah, now more people ride bikes for fun and exercise, and which is a really good idea. And exercise." Is our next vocabulary word, and it's a very important one. Do you guys know what exercise means? That's right. That means moving your body to keep it in a good shape. Okay. So some people might go swimming and do it as an exercise. Swimming is a really good exercise. Or some people like to go jogging. Okay, if they want to exercise, so jogging is like running slowly, and definitely riding bicycle is also a great exercise. So I personally really love swimming. So when I want to exercise, I would go swimming, or sometimes I would also go ride my bike. How about you guys? What do you guys usually do when you want to exercise? Let me know, and let's take a very short break, and we'll come back soon. More people also ride to work and school. That is really good for their bodies and the environment. Look. There is the Guandu Bridge. Cool. We will be in Danshui soon. Welcome back, everybody. So let's go back to today's dialogue. Remember, we have two characters, two people talking to each other. One is Iris, and the other one is. Thomas. So right now, Iris says,、oh, more people also ride to work and school. So she's saying more people also ride their bicycles to work and school. When they go to work and school, maybe they're not walking, maybe they're not driving their car, maybe they're riding their bicycle to school, which is a very good idea. Well, for me. Sometimes I need to take the MRT when I go to work, and I have to walk a little bit. Sometimes I need to take the bus too. So it's a long way. How about you guys? Can you guys ride your bicycle to work or school? If your school or work is not too far away, then riding bicycle would be an excellent idea. So now Thomas says that is really good. For their bodies and the environment, that is really good for their bodies and the environment. Body is our next vocabulary word. You know what a body is, right? Like with your arms, your stomach, your legs. This whole thing is your body. So, for example, we can say that if you exercise every day, your body would be very healthy. Well, if you don't exercise very often and you sit on the couch and watch TV all the time, then your pro your body will probably not be as healthy. Okay, and our next vocabulary word is environment. 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 Environment means your surrounding, the things around you. Okay, so if you're riding the bicycle all the time or very often. 
not driving the car or riding your scooter, then it's very good for your surrounding. We are not polluting the air. You are not making the air very dirty and yucky. <laughs> So, riding bicycle is a very good way to make your body healthy, and at the same time, it's very good for the environment, which is your surrounding. Okay, we always want to do something very nice to our earth and our environment, so our earth will be healthy, would not be sick, right? Okay, so now let's look at what Iris says. She says, "Oh." Look, there is the Guandu Bridge. <gasps> Do you guys know Guandu Bridge? I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen the Guandu Bridge before. Bridge is our next vocabulary word. Bridge is something that you would build if you want to go from one side to the other side, but maybe there's like water in the middle and you can't really swim over. Maybe it's too far away or water is too deep. Then maybe it's a good idea to build a bridge. Then you can just drive on the bridge or you can ride on the bridge or even walk on the bridge, okay? We all know the song. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. So we know what a bridge is. So Iris says, look, there is the Guandu Bridge, which is very, very beautiful. And now Thomas says, cool, we will be in Danshe soon. Wow, so Danshe is coming up very soon because they see the bridge coming up. And Thomas is quite excited about that, I guess. We will be in Danshe soon, once you go past the Guandu village, I mean Guandu bridge, maybe just wait a little bit, maybe half an hour, you will be in Danshui. So soon is our next vocabulary word. When you say something is happening soon, that means something is happening very, very quickly, okay? So if I go out and I wanna tell my mom, huh, I'm not going to stay out for a long time, I will be back soon, mom. And that means I will come back very quickly. And usually she will say, okay, well, just go. But if she knows that you're going to stay out for a long time, then she's probably not going to be okay with that. So if you want to go out with your friends, you want to ask your mom if it's okay. Don't forget to ask your mom, mom, uh, I'm going out with my friends, but I will be back soon. I will be back very quickly. And I think your mom will most likely say yes, okay? So don't forget, soon, that means very quickly. And then, so remember today we talked about riding bicycle, how it's very, very good for your body and very good for our environment. And at the same time, you can enjoy the beautiful scenery of Taiwan. I can't wait to go ride my bike now. Okay, well, I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Iris and Thomas are on the bike path. There are a lot of riders on this path today, and many of them are on U bikes. Well, there are many places to rent them, and they aren't far from the bike paths. Taipei and Taiwan really did a good job with these bike paths. Yeah, now more people ride bikes for fun and exercise. More people also ride to work and school. That is really good for their bodies and the environment. Look. There is the Guandu Bridge. Cool! We will be in Danshui soon. Stephanie,那首先我们一起来看单字。第一个呢是exercise,名词,运动. What do you do for exercise? 你都做什么运动?那第二个单字呢是名词body,身体。现在大家都越来越注重健康，也知道体重不代表一切。我们一起看一个例句哦。The doctor will check your body later. 医生等一下会检查你的身体。
。那第三个单字呢是 bridge， 它是名词，桥的意思。We walked across the London Bridge， 我们步行穿越伦敦大桥。那最后一个单字呢是 soon， 它是副词，很快的。例如 ，the boy will soon be as tall as his father。这个男孩很快就会和他爸爸一样高。好，那我们进入接下来的文法。第一个呢是 A is far from B， A 离 B 很远。Far 是形容词，遥远的意思。例如 ，Rima's office is far from her house。Rima 的公司离她家很远。那课文里指的是距离上的遥远，但是 far from 其实呢，也可以指两者相差甚远，或是根本不点点点的意思。如果你有一个迷妹朋友，某天他又发花痴说那个叉叉叉好帅哦，如果你不那么认为，你就可以回他 He's not as handsome as you said. Far from it. 他没有你说的那么帅啊，差多了。那第二个片语呢是 do a good job， 表现好。Good 呢，也可以换成其他形容词，像是 great 很棒的 ，bad 糟糕的等等。比如说 ，the team did a great job on the project。这个团队在这项专案上面表现亮眼。那最后一个呢，是 A is good for B。A 对 B 有益。注意介系词用 for。比如说 ，Vitamin C is good for your skin。维他命 C 对你的皮肤有益。And I'm Matt. We're gonna play a game called Guess the Bear. We each have words from your lesson, and we're gonna put them in sentences. But instead of using the word, we're gonna use the word bear. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Timer. Okay. I'm going first. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is an adverb. Bear. We will have enough money to buy a house. Christmas can't come bare enough. Soon. Yes. Nice. All right. This is a phrase. Uh, the battle against COVID, bear, 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 over. Kending Beach, bear, 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 Taipei. Uh, the battle against COVID, bear, 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 over. Kending Beach, bear, 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 Taipei. Is far from? Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, this is a noun. My teacher said the bear of my essay needs revising. If your bear hurts, go to the doctor. If your bear hurts, go to the doctor. My teacher said the bear of my essay. Hurts. Ah. Um. Body. Body. Yeah. My teacher said the bear. A、uh, body. Of my essay needs revising. If your body hurts, go to the doctor. Ah. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> All right, your turn. Okay, okay. All right, let's see if you can do it. Okay. I didn't get on time. Okay, let's go. Okay, first is a noun. Kelly said our argument was water under the bear. They say trolls live under bears. Bridge. Next is another noun. One word. The personal trainer gave me bears to do. The teacher assigned us bears in the textbook for homework. Exercises. That's correct. Next is another one word noun. Motorcycle bears are encouraged to wear helmets. The youngest bear to win the Tour de France was 19 years old. Rider. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Still so much time on the clock. It's easy for that's you. Right. That's right. All right, you win this time. Yeah, this time. See you next time.